on is kind of fools here with my week 13 uh, NFL predictions. Um, this time it is a camera video. Um, still not my man back. I uh, don't really want to record any other gameplay for a NFL prediction thing. So I've been seeing a lot of vlogs lately. Just I've been playing games that I really don't plan on recording. Um, Come late December, mid December, I'll start recording more um, gameplay because I'll be getting a PC, so I'll be able to do what I originally planned I want to do with my YouTube channel. But that could be a video for future, yeah, just maybe a future video. I'll explain the situation. But um, I'm gonna do some Halo 4 custom games sooner or later once they set that up, which has been like a month. I don't know why they haven't, but. Um, what else? But that is it. Um, eight and six last week. I am currently on one on this week. Eight uh, last week is eight and six. Pretty bad week. Um, a lot of close games. A lot of my predictions were fairly. All the ones I got wrong were close games. Miami, uh, Miami game, Tampa game. Uh, you could say the Cowboys game was close. Texans game was a joke. Um, but I was eight and six. And this week I am 0-1 already due to the um, confusing game uh, between the Saints and the Falcons. Um, it was a very interesting game. Um, lots of... I don't even want to... I don't even want to explain that game, but let's get right into the predictions. Um, if you, I'm, like, I'm looking at the thing I gotta set it up because I gotta hit the games. I don't know them all on the top of my head, damn it. Um... First game I think is on the list is Wow, hang on here. Seahawks. This five and the six and five Seahawks coming to loss against an upset loss against the Dolphins. Against the eight and three Bears. We got Jay Cutler back at and what? Um both the Seahawks corners are playing this game. If you haven't heard they were caught using Adderall, which is a medicine used for ADHD. Um a lot of players have been caught getting caught with it in every sport. But they will play. Their appeal process has not started, so they are allowed to play. Um, going to be a physical game. Matt Forte is likely to play. I'm doing this on Friday, so I'm not 100% sure on the injuries. Usually I do these on Saturday morning. I get a better idea of who's going to play and who's not. Uh, but it seems likely Forte will play, but I think he'll be limited. Um, the Seahawks struggle with inside runs. Um, I'm going to quote Matthew Barry on this and not actually quote him, but... I've heard from uh, Michael Bush fits the game plan better against the Seahawks running wise. So it's like Michael Bush gets some, um, say, burn in this game. Uh, he's going to get a lot of bulk of the carries. Uh, I expect the the Bears to win this game. I think uh, the Seahawks playing away. I've struggled. Russell Wilson's been amazing at home, but terrible on the road. Uh, he. Uh, Marshawn this. Bears' run defense has been falling, but I think they're going to pick it up this week. Uh, and a very big week because if they win and the Packers lose, they pretty much have the division in their hands. Um, so, pretty key game for the Bears. Next, we have the 10 and 1 Texans, who should be the 9 and 2 Texans, against the 4 and 7 Titans. I almost called them the Giants. 4 and 7 Titans. Um, this is going to be the Texans' game. Um, they're going to run the ball, but. I'm going upset here. I'm going to pick the Titans to win because Jonathan Joseph is out. Jake Locker is going to pass. Chris Johnson is going to have a good game. The Houston's defense is overrated, as I've been stating the past two weeks. I think the Titans will come in with an upset win. And they're not officially out of the playoffs yet. The Steelers, without Big Ben this week, and the Bengals kind of have to play them. It's going to be very interesting. And the Titans must win out, like every 4-7 team in the AFC. Um, but I think the Titans win this game. Um, I think... The Texans have to lose sooner or later. They're getting too lucky the net past couple of weeks. I think the Titans will do an in scene. It's a divisional game. Um, next, we have the eight and three uh, Patriots versus five and six Dolphins. The Dolphins are in the playoff hunt still. A very, very key uh, win here because they easily could stop the division. The Patriots from clinching the division if they win. Um, they beat a very tough Seahawks team. The Patriots destroyed the Jets, as we saw on Thanksgiving. Uh, 
Their their defense seems a little bit better, and I think the Patriots will win this game. I think the Dolphins will pretty much be eliminated out of the playoffs. Very, very, there's a good chance, you know, that they could make it or not, but I just think they lose to the Patriots. I'm pretty sure they have to page, play the Patriots one more time. So, a very tough road for the Dolphins, and I think this this is a must win for them, but they're going to lose to the Patriots at the fun little game here again. Um, last week, against the 4 7 Bills, um, Bills' defenses have been improving the past, since the bye week, I should say. Every week it's getting better and better and better. I think this week they will win, and they've been acting like they're not. They're pretty much been officially eliminated for the playoffs, but they haven't. If they win out, there's a very good chance. Like I said, every four and seven team are in a very good situation because the Bengals only have to lose two games. They have, I think, they play Dallas still, who are in the playoff race still, um, and then, so they have a tough road, and the Steelers have a tough road. So every four and seven team has got hope. Uh, the meet down, but I wouldn't because there's some four and seven teams that could come out of nowhere and you know take that second wild card spot. But I'm gonna take the Bills in this game. I think the Jaguars are improving, but I think they really they're gonna struggle again this game because Rashard Jennings is starting. He's been one of the worst. Next, the seven four Colts versus four and seven Lions. Uh, Lions unfortunately probably not gonna make the playoffs. Um, they get. They easily could have been the playoff race last week if they they should have won the game, but due to a stupid rule, they lost that game. To win this game, like I said, they're a four and seventeen, but they they have a very they have an outside chance of making um, the Giants. We don't know could they be the Giants when they play the Packers, or they, can they be the Giants before the bye week? Um, they play the Redskins this week too, so we'll need some help to win, but they need to win out pretty much, and I think the Colts. They'll, they'll beat the Colts. I think the Colts' pass defense is not the greatest. And they're pretty injured on the run de line. They lost, I think, their end. So, they, Lions might prioritize the run a little bit here. Uh, but I think it's going to be... It's going to be Lions. I think Andrew Luck has been struggling lately. So, Matthew Stafford's going to pass on. Next, we have the 3-8 Panthers versus the 1-10 Chiefs. Brady Quinn is starting. Uh, Cam Newton probably coming off one of... Maybe he's one of the best games in his career last week and an improving Panthers defense um, except Bryce Brown ran all over them but nothing pretty much else came out of that passing game I'm gonna go with the Panthers in this game I think they might fin they're gonna finish uh, the season off strong I think their defense is improving every week that offense is starting to come to light it's Jonathan Stewart's hurt but they really don't use him um, I'm pretty sure I don't think the Chiefs win another game this season unless they play week 17 it's possible that it will be a divisional team. I'm pretty sure not the Broncos, though. Next, the 6-5 Vikings versus the 7-4 Packers. Big divisional game. If the Vikings win, puts them ahead of the Packers, I believe. I'm not sure if they... I think they play Week 17 again. And if the Bears lose, that could put the Vikings one game out to the division. Even though the Bears have the win over them. Swing for the Vikings here. The Packers coming off a embarrassing loss against the Vikings. They did not want to give up go pass heavy. I think Aaron Rodgers had his least amount of pass times in his career. Uh, it was that if there's going to be a week where they're going to explode offensively, it's going to be this week. They did it against the Texans, but they need they need to start showing up because they're starting to get lazy and they're very interested in defense, so they're going to have to start putting up some points to win some games here, and they're going to have to do it this week because it's a very big game for them. Next, we have the 8-2-1 and one. 49ers with the 4-6-1 and six, one Rams. Rams played them tough last time. Uh, Kaepernick is actually starting now. Kaepernick came in that Rams game, and you could say led um, the 49ers back into that game. I think the 49ers win this game. I think the Rams, definitely an improved team here, but I think the 49ers are a completely different team with Kaepernick starting, and now that they actually play in the whole game, um, the Rams will struggle to stop him. Uh... Nothing really else in the game, but I think the 49ers win this game. Uh, Rams could play like they did that week, but Danny Amendola is probably not going to play. Uh, it would be smart to sit him if I were them. Next, we have the 4-7 and seven Cardinals versus the 4-7 Jets. Like I said, 4-7 and seven teams in the AFC still have a shot at the playoffs, but I think the Cardinals win this game. Everybody keeps saying the Jets will win this game, but I just see Mark Sanchez with that, the worst play I've ever seen. 
Um, I think the Cardinals will run away with this game. They got a running. They got Beanie Wells back. Um, the running game has kind of been proving, but their offensive line got injured. They're, they lost their center. Um, their right tackle, Bobby Massey, has been one of the better tackles lately. So uh, you could see him run to the right side. The Jets are not good against the run this year. Um, I could, this game is gonna be close, but I, I think the Cardinals will, will finish it off. I think because. I just think Mark Sanchez is a terrible quarterback. Sean Green is a terrible running back. There's no receivers. Um, I think Darrell Washington's going to be the pain in the ass for the Jets. I think the Cardinals sneak away with this one with the win. Um, next, the 6-5 Buccaneers versus the 8-3 Broncos. Uh, must win for the Buccaneers pretty much to have any chance at the playoffs. Um, you could see Packers losing. You know, if they, they really want to win this game. If I was... Greg Schiano, I would go into this game and say we got to win it and prove that the Buccaneers are in a fluke because they're going against the Broncos, the hottest team in the league right now. Um, I think they'll be the toughest opponent to play, the Broncos. Uh, they got the Ravens still, but I think the Buccaneers will come and play. And I'm going to go with an upset here. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. Kind of run all over them. I think Josh Freeman will step it up from last week. And I think... You know, it's gonna. I think it might be a high scoring game. Uh, it's it's a very hard game to predict because is it gonna be last year's Josh Freeman? Is it gonna be this year's Josh Freeman? Um, is you know, is that defense gonna show up? Willis McGee he got hurt from the Broncos, and it it kind of put a hit on that offense. They only scored like seventeen on the Chiefs. Um, it's just, uh, I think Willis McGee hurt. Um, his injury hurt the Broncos' offense a little bit. Even though they had paid Manning, it's just you struggle to score against the, the Chiefs. You kind of maybe it was just an off game for him. But I think the Buccaneers sneak out of this game with an upset. Um, next we have the um, what was it? Uh, six five of Steelers was nine two Ravens. Big Ben's not playing. Ravens win this game. Simple. Steelers end up six and six. One loss, one loss away from being with that seventh, that dreaded seventh loss in the AFC. Uh, Big Ben will probably ben, be next week, um, but it's going to be a tough road for the Steelers. If they sneak out of this with the win, I believe they make the playoffs. I just think, I don't think they do. I think the Ravens are improving. Uh, they're getting healthier a little bit by the week. Um, they're pretty much a lock to make the playoffs. I think they win this week. They could just the playoffs um, a division. Uh, I I just Big Ben means so much to the Steelers. They're actually I th I think they're gonna commit to the running game this week, which they should. The Ravens' run D hasn't been the greatest, uh, but I I I think the Ravens come out of this game with, with a win. If they don't, I don't see them really making it out of the playoffs. Then, if they can't beat the Charlie Batch Steelers, um, one game I would I'm not probably gonna watch it, uh, even though it's the Steelers Ravens by the best rivalry. It's going to be a blowout, I believe. Next, the 6-5 Bengals versus the 4-7 and seven Chargers. Like I've been saying, 4-7 and seven teams in the AFC, they need to pretty much win out. They're in a good situation to be for 4-7. They're NFC, they're pretty much out. Chargers, this is this is a must win for them because it, it's it's pretty much known that the Steelers are going to lose. Um, they'll be go to 6-6. Six six. If the Chargers could come out of this game and beat the Bengals and the Bengals become 6-6, six and six, that puts every 4-17 and 17 good position, especially the Chargers. Because the Steelers and Bengals play one more time. And they both, both the Steelers and Bengals have very tough schedules coming up. So it's going to be, you know, this the Steelers, this game is key for the AFC. This is probably the most um, key game. This is a key game for the AFC playoff race. The Bengals win, it, it's going to be a tough road for these 4-17 and 17. Um, so watch out for that game. That that in my mind could be game of the week. I'm gonna go with the Broncos Buccaneers game of the week. I don't know why I say that you know beginning, but team some teams can be sneaking in if the Bengals and Steelers lose. Next, the three and eight Browns versus the Raiders. Browns win this game. Um, they're very, very good defense right now. I think the Raiders struggling. Uh, I heard it's gonna be bad conditions out there, so the Raiders are terrible against the run. Because Richard Seymour got hurt, and they have the bum Tommy Kelly who fucking hates playing football. I don't know why he's getting paid so much, but I think the Browns come out of the game with this win. 
Next, we have a Sunday night game. I'm not probably going to watch this one. It's 3-8 and eight, eight, eight Eagles versus 5-6 and six Cowboys. Must win for the Cowboys. I think they do win. Um, if they're going to make a push, it's going to be now. Um, it's they're just they're gonna have to win out to make the playoffs. So I'm gonna go with the Cowboys in this game. I think the Eagles probably will not win a game until Vic comes back if he comes back at that. And then we got the Monday night game, which actually is my game of the week. I don't know. I said Tampa Bay Broncos seven four Giants versus the five and six Redskins. Very big game for the NFC playoff race. Um, Giants win it. The Redskins are pretty much out. Um, maybe the Cowboys. You could you know. It's going to be a tough road. Um, but this, the Redskins come out of this, makes it very, very interesting because whoever's going to win the NFC East is going to have a weak record and could lead, you know, some of these teams like Detroit, maybe even the Saints to come out of nowhere and snag a playoff spot. But I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the Redskins. Um, I think RG3 is going to have some fun on that defense. Uh, the Giants are, are with Ahmad Bradshaw and David Wilson. They really don't have the Andre Brown factor. Um, Victor Cruz been slowing down, but he's showing up. Um, Eagles have the worst pass defense. Well, not the Eagles. The Redskins have the worst uh, secondary. I think it, it's not. A, I don't know if it's stat, um, statistically the worst one, but it's terrible. Um, and I don't. I don't see Eli. I don't envision Eli throwing like. 40 or 50 passes. I think that they don't want to do that. I think they're going to try to focus on the run game. Um, but I'm going to go with the Redskins this game. I think RG3 is going to have another great game. Uh, and he's going to. And it's on Monday night. Uh, I, I think it's going to be under the lights. I think RG3 is going to be motivated. And I believe that it, the game is at home. So I, I think it's going to be tough for the Giants to go in there. Um, but that is it. Usually a longer episode than usual, but I kind of did a more explaining this episode. 18 minute video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. All links are below, Twitter and shit. And uh, comments, comment your thoughts on the picks. Maybe who you think could be wild card uh, for the playoff race. Well, dark horse in this case, because they use wild card for the playoffs. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow with the walking. Well, that was walk, not sure on what the plan is hopefully they fix that but they doubt it but i want to thank you guys for watching like i said five seconds ago and i hope you enjoyed this video